What's going on guys, Saber here, and today we're back at it again with another Evil Dead the game video. Now, of course, I have to say that I haven't made a video in a long time. Well, about a week or two. Um, just taking a break from the game. Very, um... I'm not, it's not that I don't find the game fun or anything like that. It's just I've been playing other games, and it's just been so hard to not play those other games when, you know... You've been playing this game for so long and you've been hoping for a lot of different change in terms of mechanics, in terms of more content, hoping for new demons, new survivors, other than Blacksmith, of course, because, you know, I do have mixed feelings about Blacksmith, but I'm not saying that he's bad or he was a terrible addition to the arsenal, but I'm just not too fond of him in like in terms of just a character overall, like I guess. <laughs> But uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. So we got new features, which is the new prestige system, which is the system they have announced a week ago. Five prestige levels, um, each one having a, an upgrade of their own. The first one being the, well, actually, the, the, the three in the middle, or yeah, the three in the middle. Are going to be the skill points and all that the first one is going to be a skill upgrade and then the last one is going to be a skill upgrade um that uh, uh i i do also do have mixed feelings about prestige system but i'm not against it either it's something that i think will have players come back and have players have a reason to play the game it was the one thing that i felt like was lacking although they only added five levels so this in this in the future tells me they're probably going to add more to it no more f obviously they're not going to increase levels anymore because i think 30 and 50 for demons 34 survivors and 54 demons are enough for, for that for the game that's it so probably the next prestige is going to be the next five prestige or whatever however they want to add it is going to be something entirely different but we'll have to wait and see um, so we got updates. It says all survivor locked behind missions are now available. So now you guys all own uh, What was it leader ash Arthur and Pablo, which is uh, great Great because I know people were annoyed and don't even want to do the missions, but now you don't have to <laughs> uh, New skill for Arthur weapon master sword level 10 Okay um, so they gave Arthur a new thing. Combine Lord Arthur's Weapon Master Heavies and uh, Weapon Master Fast Attacks into one Weapon Master Melee Attacks. Okay. Okay, I see what they did there. Um, so they basically combined two Arthur's abilities into one and made a new one for for uh, Weapon Master. That's not a bad idea, honestly. I... I at first, when I skimmed through this, I was like, what did they do? I was trying to decipher this like a Da Vinci code, and I was just so confused. I was lost like a little puppy in the maze. Um, and then now, after reading it again, I finally understand it. I don't know why it took me so long to understand it. Maybe because I'm just waking up still. But now I get it. <laughs> uh, okay, we got the generals. It says, survivors no longer fall under the map after getting over from a car that's standing upright on two wheels interesting mission two party down can always be uh, completed regardless of where the last that i in that end encounter spawns okay i don't i i mean now when i did mission two i did mission two i was it no more <laughs> i never played it again the blacksmith scrap bar no longer displays great or not available if the players picks up a scrap when the ability icon is great or not available okay mini map rotation no uh, option no longer turns off for survivor in a vehicle that's actually good uh, uh in a vehicle and demon and the demon spirit oh my god let me and the demon in this in spirit form jesus christ what is wrong with me today <laughs> berserker's model no longer remains frozen when players shoot at shoot it in its body during the head rush animation <laughs> oh interesting uh, Annie Nobi can now perform special attack and finishers while her ability is active. Wait, what? Can now perform special attacks and finishers while her ability is active. 
Well, her ability is active. But her ability, all it is, is just a range increase. And uh, but, uh, what else? Uh, something else. I, 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 <laughs> it's been a bit. Um, okay. I guess. I gotta look into it because... They did some new stuff, I guess. Metal scraps can now uh, now drop from pit deadites. Uh, the camera doesn't get stuck inside the boss unit. The vault prompt now appears at all angles and distances, which is great. Um, this is the one that I'm. I, I know it says solo mode, but I've been uh, I've I've heard from sources that they finally fixed it. Mia now deals additional damage after using her ability act uh, or active ability in solo mode. They didn't need to add solo mode because her ability was bugged anyways. Her ability was bugged even out of sight of solo mode. It was it was bugged in ma multiplayer too. What do you mean solo mode? Whatever. But this is just to hide their I guess skin like they they just refuse to admit that oh yeah we done goofed <laughs> you guys were playing mia while she was bugged <laughs> okay buddy various collision getting stuck and pick up spawn fixes great great well i'm glad that they're doing this at least at the very least i'm glad now it comes for the the icing of the cake the balance <clears throat> So Henry the Red's unstoppable cooldown has increased from 75 seconds to 100 seconds, which everybody, every demon was hoping for this and eh, very, very few survivors. Um, but before everybody starts going up in arms with pitchforks, um, this needed to happen for a lot of reasons because Henry always prolonged the games and it was annoying. Um... The, the reason why I say it's annoying and not because you're you're caring it's because you know the game is over uh, you all four, all three of your teammates are done and there's no way you're gonna get the revive off well I mean they, they, who knows they might get the revive off but I'm saying like in a more uh, I'm different approach when it comes to like the circle zone they're all dead inside the circle zone and and you're the only one that's outside like like outside of the the radius of it like this kept happening a lot like they just kept uh prolonging the game for too long and then it was annoying to catch him it was even annoying to try to down him too especially if he has shems and a lot of amulets so and i i guess they they, they want to make henry the red feel more like or he make his active feel more like it needs to be more priority like now instead of just using it just because you can um so now we got blacksmith weapon master melee damage decreased from 30 percent to 25 percent which is <laughs> i knew was gonna happen uh blacksmith uh rough and ready damage decreased from 15 percent to 10 percent um and it also got a cooldown increase from 30 seconds to 40 seconds now um i know people are gonna be like why didn't blacksmith get nerfed already well because he was getting he was overperforming, and he was like the go-to guy if you didn't want a warrior like you you wanted two supports you want two supports you want two leaders on top of those two supports well take uh arthur and take uh either a leader ash or an annie done deal that's what pe some people were taking and it worked very effectively um David Soda Pop's defense decreased from 30% to 20%. David Beacon of Hope fear reduction would increase from 2 seconds to 2.5 seconds. Any slugger balance to boss decreased from 100% to 60%. Oof. And then Arthur Weapon Master uh, melee damage attack damage. Now I, I it decreased from 30% to 25%. I know why because and people are gonna be like, oh no, it's a nerf to Arthur. No, well they gave him a new skill which is. Uh, sword master i guess sword master <laughs> master weapon whatever and they are doing this because his sword might just make him strong um might just oh, oh uh compensate for his 25 percent. also keep in mind that they also add the the prestige system too so there's that as well so this might not even be much of a well i'll say that up to here this might not be much of a difference with the prestige uh stuff this, however, will show us a slight difference <laughs> just because uh, the Unstoppable uh, he just got taken away from Henry for, 
for, for another 25 seconds. Um, oh, yes, this is the one I was hoping that they do, and I hope they didn't jank it or mess it up. Increase crossbows and so I don't care about saw guns though, but saw guns, projectile, speed, and improved aiming. Thank you. Please, I hope I can use it because if I have to like aim and my crossbow goes down in the ground instead or my, my arrows go down in the ground instead i'm gonna be furious <laughs> that was one thing i hated so basically wherever the crossbow is pointing at is where the crossbow is going to shoot so like let's say for instance you aim right but as you're aiming or you're in the animation of aiming the gun the crossbow is pointing a little bit towards upwards getting to the aim that you need it to get to like it needs to be pretty much uh, wherever the crossbow is facing let me let me just say like this wherever the crossbow is facing is where it's going to shoot basically so if the crossbow is facing upwards for whatever reason because the, the animation to aim is still going like slightly and you decide to shoot quickly while the animation is going it's gonna go upwards and then if it's if it's for whatever reason pointing downwards whatever uh, like if you got hit and the crossbow is now pointing downwards and the small animation of you getting hit the, 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 the arrow is going to go down for some reason. And instead of it going towards where the reticle is at, it's just going to go wherever the crossbow is facing. And that was just pretty uh, annoying at the very least. And I still think it's going to be annoying, but at least they increased the projectile speed, which I got to test now because I definitely want to use crossbows. Uh, prison skeleton uh, vicious circle damage increased from 50 to 60. Uh, Necromancer flute to kill in cooldown increase from 80 seconds to 95 seconds, which is might not be as much of a nerf, but because seeing how Necromancer and people still downplay Necromancer, but Necromancer is still Necromancer. Uh, Plague Ringer Wicked Brew cooldown decrease from 120 seconds to 100 seconds. Plague Bringer's Wicked Brew balance defense increase from 30% to 50%. This is going to be really rough, honestly. Plague Ringer just got a little, a little love in this patch, I say. Pit did I, uh, Corrosive Blast damage increase from 120 seconds to 140 seconds. They also got a, a Filthy Splatter damage increase from 75 to 90. They also got a Melee damage resistance increase from 40% to 30% uh, to 40%. Uh, Damiel goes also got a damage uh, range damage resistant increase from 30% to 40% and then our friend the puppeteer puppet master uh, power possess cooldown reduction increase from 30% to 40% which I don't, uh, I don't uh, there's some stuff that I don't know like I, I just I would have to ask the the demon mains that we that we know how they feel about this um increased combo to speed of henrietta's uh light and heavy attacks so now henrietta is a little faster which uh mind you it's gonna be very annoying for i guess you could say hunters honestly because if, if they're faster in, in attacking and you pressure the hunter enough they're not gonna get a reload off it's hard to get a reload off it was already hard to get a reload off <laughs> now they just made it harder but uh, I guess just kite them around and have your other teammates just either do the objective or shoot her down. That's just how it is. Increase the combo speed of heavy uh, evil Ash's heavy attacks. I don't know about evil Ash needing. Maybe he did. I don't know. I just. I don't know. Uh, I, I'm a little. I'm. I'm. I'm just gonna say I don't know because. I know some people have been requesting something else entirely in terms of what they want in a mechanical sense of the game, but uh, yeah, well, I don't know. I'm just gonna say I don't know. <laughs> uh, increase Necronomicon uh, HP five percent. Uh, this is kind of useless. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Uh, I'm just saying that because you have this, you have this, you have this. You have all of these. <laughs> so this is kind of useless. <laughs> oh man. I mean, I don't know. 
and we'll have to see how the game how it pans out in the game obviously i'm just kind of like saying that five percent and, and yes yes i'm aware that they increased the 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 necronomicon's health five percent before like another five percent but this time it's just five percent more and uh, now we have a total of ten percent then technically for both patches from both patches if you accumulate them and i don't know it needs to be up to like five more like i guess i i would say like if they added it 10 percent, that would have been fine but because it would have been 15 percent total then from from the base when, we, when the game came out from when the game came out but uh i don't know we'll have to see how that goes too um very interesting changes i'm not sure how i feel about it yet uh, i'll have to first obviously play the game and then uh maybe i might make a separate video just exp uh talking about it um am i against this whole nonsense here no i'm not against it and it's probably not nonsense i'm just saying just to say it because you know it's uh i'm just being uh, you know but uh i'm being a, i'm being a survivor main yeah that's what it is i'm being a survivor main these are nonsense <laughs> nah <laughs> But uh, yeah, no, I think this this whole change has to do, or this whole change, I should say, has to do with prestige, the prestige system. Again, I know a lot of people are going to be looking at this and be like, <gasps> no, they, they nerf survivors. But um, again, prestige system and Arthur and Arthur and... Uh, Mia finally became Mia. Finally became strong again. I know she was strong already, but uh, the problem was her her active was just very janky and didn't work as as well as it should have. But I'm hearing from sources from people that are at the game right now currently that it it actually fully works now. Her her active is actually at a point where it needs to be. So I'm just like, okay, cool. So Mia is finally taking off again. We're back at it again. And that's actually a big because if you thought Mia was good, this these past two patches, then you have not been playing Mia to a fullest potential because Mia is greater than good. She's actually a monster with her active working. <laughs> it's just the problem was her active wasn't working as, as properly as it should have. And that was the issue. <laughs> they, I heard that they finally fixed it. And um, she's... Now able to do high damages again, very high damages, because I remember I hit 180k damage and they didn't touch Mia at all other than that bug that happened. I was never able to hit 180k damage. I was only able to hit like 110 and I was missing like 70k damage because of that bug. That bug really messed her up uh, badly. But yeah. Patches are patches decent. I'm actually interested to see what they add more in the future for the prestige system and what more they go towards this game. Um, I think definitely this game needs a more mechanical uh, change. Like they need to add more mechanics to this game. They need to add more survivors, more demons, more variety so that people can start coming back to this game and not feel like, oh, well, I only have four choices as demon. While survivors, you have like various choices. And you have various comps. And now you have up to 30 po uh, spirit points for survivors. And demons have 50. Which is another thing that's that's going to be interesting to see what they do. And and what's going to be falled against us. Like, oh, that's going to be... Oh. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, definitely will be making more videos again on Evil Dead. Uh, probably going to be doing a little bit different. I know some people they either stay and don't stay to watch the whole entire match so i'm going to tr maybe try to cut down a little bit of it uh maybe add two matches of it uh with cut size so that way it's not you know and just highlight the key parts of every match maybe maybe we'll see but uh let me know what you guys think um comment down below what you guys think the describe uh the description oh my god it's gonna have the link to this uh, wonderful patch. And I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Saber, signing out.